House Majority Whip Tom Emmer has been emerged from a crowded field to become the next Speaker of the House. But it's a familiar scene as Emmer was the third lawmaker to clinch the nomination since Kevin McCarthy was ousted earlier this month. ABC's M. Wim shares how pressure is mounting on the House GOP. House Majority Whip Tom Emmer won the Republican nomination to become Speaker after his colleagues cast a series of secret ballots, dwindling the group of eight candidates down to one. But in another secret tally of how many House Republicans would actually support Emmer if the vote came to the floor, the number three Republican reportedly fell around 26 votes short. He can only afford to lose the support of four GOP members. We're in a very bad place. Should he wait until he has 217 votes to go to the floor? I would. Emmer defeated Representative Mike Johnson of Louisiana 117 to 97, far below the 217 votes he'll need to secure the Speaker's gavel. The two previous nominees, Representatives Jim Jordan and Steve Scalise, weren't able to muster enough support. Ousted Speaker Kevin McCarthy is backing Emmer. Having been the whip, getting the tough votes, we passing H.R. 1, making America energy independent, parents' bill of rights, getting the debt ceiling. So he knows the conference well. House Democratic Caucus Chair Pete Aguilar is also rejecting the idea that several Democrats are considering voting present to lower the threshold needed to help Emmer become Speaker. That isn't a conversation that we've, that we've had. As the House enters week four without a speaker, no legislative business has been conducted, meaning they couldn't take up President Biden's request for $100 billion in military aid for Israel and Ukraine or reach a compromise to fund the government before it could shut down next month. Former Speaker Kevin McCarthy says Emmer will answer questions from members to try and rally support. But former President Donald Trump is taking to social media to urge his congressional allies not to vote for Emmer, saying it would be a mistake. Emwin, ABC News, Washington.